Tom here from Warren Systems. Let's talk business. And I want to bring up that it is March of 2021. I like to date when I say these things because this is what I'm doing now. And that will change in future times. That could be different than what I was doing in the past. So at least we'll start out there. The business content is well, kind of sporadic on this channel. A lot of my content is more centered around tutorials around storage servers and firewalls and deep in the weeds technology that I talk about. But of course, there is the other side. I do run and own a business, not just produce YouTube content. And uh, one of the things about producing business content is it becomes tricky to figure out exactly what people are looking for. I've been running this business for pushing 18 years now. I started in 2003 and yeah, it's a lot to try and figure out because I've been doing it for so long of what are those gaps that people who are interested in business want to know. Now I'm going to be leaving a link to a better curation I've done than I've done in the past uh, to all the previous business videos I've did talking about getting clients, how we do bidding. You know, to me, those are very actionable, intelligent type of discussions that I like to have where I'm sharing exactly how we get something done. It's still a tutorial. It just happens to be centered around how we did something in the business because, you know, it's cool to talk about how we set up a Wi-Fi network and the technical side of it. But of course, there is at least a few people that want to know, well, how did you even get to have that? Because, well, you're a business and somehow you must have bid on it. So there must be a process. Yes, I have videos on that topic. And like I said, I'll be linking to all those. So I don't get too off topic here. But I'm always looking for feedback such as, what more would you like to see on this channel related to business content? I actually just had a great conversation with a person who is a former IT business owner and talking more about getting into creating content, which is awesome. Hey, Pete, if you're watching. And I like some of the things he's got going on. And, you know, it's that figuring out what can we do, what's actionable, because he thinks the same like I do, that teaching people is a great thing. Uh, sharing the knowledge to raise the bar and make it a better ecosystem in the tech world doesn't just mean talking about technology, doesn't just mean talking about cybersecurity, but also means having better ideas of how to service clients and business processes. And I want to, you know, produce more of that content, but it can be a little bit trickier because it's a, it, in my head, so to speak, can be a little bit more fuzzy to try to land it as a single video and talking about these overall processes. I even joked with him when I talked the other day about maybe I should just write a book on this uh, to say everything. This is how I got here now. But it, that feels more like a history lesson. And if you did exactly what I did, you may not get the same outcome. So I like to talk a little bit more abstract about it occasionally to give you guidelines. Now, back to what I'm actually doing here. I will fill in a little bit of that because, you know, maybe people are interested. So I currently here in March of 2021, split my time between creating YouTube content and actually running an IT services business. As of right now, my IT service businesses is also split again between doing infrastructure. We, you know, put together wiring jobs. Not, we do a decent amount of them um, and we contract with other contractors to get more of them done. That's also why I don't go on site because it can be a little tricky to film for those who are wondering because I've got older videos where I've done them and I have lesser on the newer and the events of 2020. Yeah make filming that much more of a risk or challenge and limited teams can go to places. Anyways, the other side is the MSP. There's another facet of it is the managed service provider or in the managed IT, which we are a SolarWinds stack user. If you're not familiar with the different RMM tools, I've talked about SolarWinds before on this channel. And SolarWinds is the tool that we use to manage all of the systems that our clients have. And that's under a recurring contract. So maybe I'll do some more videos around that. Once again, the comments and feedback help drive what else I'll do on that topic. The other side is, well, the bookings we get from YouTube and the uh, break fix is what some people may call it. I would more refer to it as project work. And what I mean by that is companies contact us for projects. They say, all right, what are the projects that we can uh, you know, delegate over to you. We actually work with internal IT teams frequently to get some of those projects landed over here, whether that be helping them physically build network infrastructure because they're local clients. We only really do that in the greater Detroit area and here in Michigan, or it's the help us design new firewalls and new systems and update this or move something from this server to that server or plan out new server path and upgrades or you know set up new VPNs, et cetera. There's a lot of projects and uh, storage server consulting specifically has been a really popular topic over the last month or so. It just seems to have ramped up as soon as 2021 started because we have a series of designers and movie theaters, not movie theaters, movie uh, creators, I should say. Theaters would be probably the wrong term. Um, people who are in the movie industry in general in some aspect of it, whether it be commercial uh, and like 
like as in producing commercials or archiving older stuff, we have been consulting with a lot of storage servers. So that's another facet of it. And my time split goes a little bit more finite, back to what I'm doing here, is coaching my team to make sure they understand and have the tools they need to get these things done, to be able to take on these consulting jobs. And in myself, one of my big driving forces for this whole thing I do is one, I like teaching people. And two, I love diving into these interesting projects that clients have and going, all right, let's uh, lay this out. All right, well, we're going to use this type of storage server. We're going to set it up this way and connect these things and, you know, to make this happen. Those can be kind of fun. The challenge of putting together a video on them directly is client privacy. I can't just say, hey, we did this for such and such company. That's not always something the companies want dumped out there publicly. But on the other side, I do make videos that are maybe about the uh, from abstracting that into the ideas that came from there. And hey, this is how uh, we set up the storage server. This is one of the reasons I have so many videos on different types of storage, other solutions. And I do plan to do some scenario type videos uh, coming up to talk about that. I've done them before, like when I talked about the Wi-Fi that we did for a bowling alley, that would be a good example of like a scenario video where we talk about the challenge they faced and how they you know, or how we use Wi-Fi to solve it type thing. I'll leave a link to the bowling alley video just uh, for reference on there. Or I couldn't talk about the client directly by name, but there was one where we installed about 300 uh, Wi-Fi units at a larger facility. And that's actually been something that's been going on for a couple of years and it works fine. Uh, a lot of people tell me it won't scale, it wouldn't do this. And I'm like, this company has had these in for a couple of years, several firmware updates later, it still works which of course that's what people really want to know because sure you can review a widget and talk about it but to be really a review what does it look like deployed in the field that's a harder piece of information to get unless you're in a position i am where we've actually deployed these in the field we've actually sold large you know massive storage servers to clients this is what it looked like a year later of actually using it it's it's really hard to say uh, your lab review versus what does the real world impact of that device look like? And you know, those are things I wanna keep answering more of and the feedback I get from you and the requests are really what helps to that. So in summary, to keep this video from wandering all over the place, those are some of the things I'm doing now, but I'm also looking for more feedback from you to try figure out what we wanna do. Now I have started some other little side projects like me and Jay started the, Jay from Learn Linux TV, so I'm always clear, I know Miss Jay, so, uh, but me and Jay from Learn Linux TV have started doing our home lab show because we believe that's another way because Jay is also passionate about training people and that's another way we can get more people into technology, get more people you know, using it. And I know starting the business isn't for everyone and that's why there's a little bit less business content on here as I know I have a much larger audience and there's a bigger audience for getting into technology. There's a smaller audience of people interested in running a technology business, but I know there is at least some of you out there because these videos seem to get at least a few thousand and views. So looking to hear from you, uh, looking at ways to make this more coherent, make this more a better platform, so to speak, so you can learn some of the business knowledge and learn from my mistakes. Please do. Don't make them yourself unless you're really insistent on doing it that way. So if there's things I can help teach, concepts, uh, leave them in the comments below as that will drive some of these next business videos. And maybe uh, me and some other MSPs I want to reach out to and not just do an interview where we talk like, hey, look, let so-and-so grew to this level of success. Because I mean, hey, congratulations on people who grow their businesses, sex, but we really want to understand how they got there and bring some of those takeaways because I want it to be more tutorial style. I want it to be a way you can do it, not just putting someone on a pedestal to congratulate them for doing it uh, because that doesn't really, to me, enrich the community in quite the same way. Congratulations on people who've had success. Um, that's great. I'm not at all trying to be uh, upset by that, so to speak. I'm not. I just want to make sure that other people have an opportunity for success and uh, education and things like that. It's going to be a way to do it. So leave the comments below and thanks. You want to come join me in talking to the camera? That's the camera. Oh, that's nice. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah. You are hunger? I am very hungry. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire a Sure project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly. So check back frequently.
And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.